There once was a reef off of the east coast of Australia. Its name is Great Barrier, and it didn't want to fill it. There's a thing called global warming, and it makes this really hot. And the zoos and Philly said, ah, I think not. Now the world is getting warmer, and the water was too. So the coral started dying, saying bye-bye, zoo. It was a Mona. A Grona. Zoo left them alone. It didn't want to go, but it didn't even know. Oh! Acidity was Satan on the coral so bright, so they started killing Zoo, making coral so white. Zoo weren't the only one that was a dying. All the fishies lost their homes and started a crying. Do you know how many fish there are in the GBR? Go on, tell us. There are 1900 fish out there screaming, Defend us, we're gonna stop, we're gonna flop, we need to save yours. So they look to us to stop this kind of behavior. So, why exactly do we need this big old reef? Without this keystone species, the world would be in grief. With so many native plants and animals, what can we do without these important Aussies? Aussies? Uh, 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 Aussies. Aussies! We could cut down on our CO2 emissions to put a stop to the Great Barriers remissions. And what about ecotourism that brings in millions? It'd be hicka tight to bring in billions. Though the greatest thing we can do is educate. It's true. It's up to you. Now what you gonna do? Spread the word that the reef is in some major trouble? Just start some beneficial fundraising on the double. Bake some brownies. Do a garage sale. Before it's all pale. Load up, up on some cash and, and send, send it to, to the, the reef. Great barrier, that is. Uh-huh.